that you are capable, you are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Because these people, these people, if the two in here wasn't mine, wouldn't have nothing to do with them. I don't care. I ain't about to be dealing with these crazy nonsense, baby. And you're bigger than me? Shit. Okay, let's give you another update. I think I just talked about this last week, didn't I? Didn't I just? Let me tell you something again about Fulton County, Atlanta. Jail. Didn't I say that you need to be shut down again? This is a new story. This ain't the same story I told y'all last week. This story refer referenced the story that I referenced about the bugs. Because the other story didn't reference the bugs last week. It referenced a young lady who died. Now, this is someone else who died in Fulton County Jail. What is going on in Fulton County Jail and why haven't it been shut down? That's the next place that needs to be shut down. Let's go. Inmate dies in Fulton County Jail Friday Six to die within eight months, official says. This was 19 hours ago. An inmate dies at Fulton County Jails this week, according to the Fulton County Sheriff. Now, this is new because this is a different scenario, guys. The statement released Saturday stated that detention officer found Christopher Smith, 34, unresponsive in the medical unit. Now, this time he was in the medical unit. And I watch as I read this article, they're going to start talking about his charges and all this stuff. We ain't talking about the charges here. We're talking about how he died in jail because he was not sentenced to death. So this is somebody else, 34 years old. Okay, be careful. Didn't I just tell you I gave you an extensive warning. Do not drive through Fulton County and get tickets. Drive fast because they consider misdemeanors. You're going to jail. You're going to jail to get a bail. You don't want to go in there. OK, so the statement released Saturday is basically saying that 34 was un years old, was unresponsive in the medical unit cell on Thursday evening. It is said medical personnel tried to resuscitate him. Allegedly, he was taken to Grady Medical Hospital where doctors pronounced him dead in, at 530 a.m. At least he made it to the hospital because the other prisoners have not made it there. OK, now court record shows he had been in jail on Rice Street with no bond, waiting for trial for three years and 10 months. He's been there for three years and 10 months in the county waiting for trial. That means he wasn't found guilty yet, babes. Just because you're locked up and you can't bail yourself out doesn't mean that you're guilty. Just to give y'all a heads up. Three years. Bell refused order and indictment shows that he was facing long list of accusations. We're not going to talk about that because at this point he wasn't convicted and he wasn't sentenced to death. So I don't care about none of this. Now, this goes down to say one of the most public cases involving um, Lawson Thompson. This was the other person. He died on September. We talked about this 2022. Sorry. 2022, after a severe bed bug infest infestation. Remember we talk, told you all the bugs was coming out the man? Y'all thought I was lying? Because y'all didn't watch the video? Because every week I'm coming with these topics and I'm giving you updates. This is what's going on in our community. This is what's going on internationally. This is what's going on with our crazy celebrities. I'm keeping y'all up to date. This is trifling. Guys, please stay out of Fulton County. I just wanted to give y'all another heads up. Oh, on April uh, 2023, Fulton County um, commissioners approved more than $5 million in funding of improvement. They shouldn't have did that. Where was the money at? They need to shut it down and get a new facility. That place is, um, what did they say? Condemned. It's condemned. Okay, $2.1 million for uh, devices to track detainees' heart rates and blood pressure, $485,000 for sanitizer and decontamination medical um, 
a psychiatric observation unit, $630,000 for 40 image of male content to detect narcotics and other contraband in the middle. That don't got shit to do with that. Y'all should have did that with another budget. $1.1 million for 91 addition, 91 addition, 91 additional cameras for $1.1 million surveillance. What the hell did that have to do with the dirtiness of the president? The president, I mean, oh my God, I'm so done. I'm sorry, I'm just sleep. I passed out when I was just talking to y'all, but I was just talking. Okay, let me just start again. What does that got to do? 91 more cameras. What does that have to do with the cleanliness of the jail? They use $1.1 million of that money for that. Then they use $1 million for additional emergency management support with Emergency Management Service Inc. for a contract just to get the people to the hospital proper, possibly. They also invested another $869,000 in the feasibility study towards a new Fulton County Jail. That was their... Um, business plan. They spent $869,000 on it and it ain't working. They I'm shut the shut it down. I'm moving forward. Y'all know y'all need to petition y'all need to petition Fulton County Jail. This is fucking enough. This is, a, this is enough. Now I ain't even plan on going to no white man's jail. But I ain't sure enough accepting this shit. Now anybody can end up in there, y'all. Y'all better say something if y'all been in Atlanta. Shit is dangerous. All right. Now let's get to it. Oh, my God. Now, I was going to get into this. I don't know. We're going to uh, we're gonna leave that alone. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program, which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website, primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.